Hello and welcome to Open Everyone. Happy New Year. I'm going to be saying that the entire month of January. I'm Rina Valentin, your host, y Café con Leche, for the next hour. Always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us and follow us on Instagram at BronxNet TV or like us on Facebook at Open BronxNet Television. And of course, while you're there, don't forget, follow me on Twitter, FB, Instagram, Insta Stories, LinkedIn, y Snapchat at Rina Valentin. So our first guest is a four-time Emmy winner. I love saying that for our show Bare Feet uh, with Michaela Malazzi. Now in its third season, a show she created to experience the world one dance, to experience the world one dance at a time, which uh, allows uh, Michaela to combine her two passions, which is dance and travel. Since creating the show, she's had the opportunity to rediscover her family heritage in southern Italy to dancing tango in the main stages of Buenos Aires while introducing the new trending DNA travel to her viewers. Joining us to share more about her bare feet adventures along with the New York Times travel show, please welcome Michaela Malazzi. Gracias, Rina. Gracias. It's amazing to be back. Thank well, you. Oh, thank you for being here. Welcome back. The last time we had you on. You were the Grand Marshal to the Dance Parade yeah. uh, 2018. Yes. And here you are in your third season, four time Emmy <laughs> winner. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. On all you've accomplished. You are Thank a true you. inspiration. Thank you. Yeah, let's just share with everyone a little bit about your background, right? Because you're a professional dancer. And it's amazing that you're able to combine your passions and win four time <laughs> Emmys in the process. We need like a bell to go off every time you say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a passion project that I followed. Um, I grew up as a dancer. I, was, I grew up as a musician, but didn't work in music or dance right away. Went to school for music um, and then got the travel bug like most people. Once you travel one time independently, you're like, I need to do this over and over and over again. And what I found was when I was going to countries where I couldn't speak the local language, I would use dance and music to connect with people. I would dance in the streets during carnival or some sort of festival. And then all of a sudden, the next day, I'm in that person's home eating a meal with their mother or at their brother's wedding. So there was an immediate connection through dance and music. And I thought, there's something really special about this way of traveling. And Bare Feet was born. And so now we're in our third season. And like you said, this new season, I decided to dig a little deeper into my roots. I come from immigrant parents. My parents are both from southern Italy. And I got my DNA tested. And now the new season, each destination is based on my DNA map. Okay, so the DNA map, I, we don't want to spoil, right? right we right. can't do, we can't give everything right, away. Right, right, right. However, the, the idea is that, yes, you acknowledge your Italian ancestry, mm -hmm. but there's more to it than right, that. Right, right. Right? Yeah. And so you've traveled to different parts. Do you want to share those additional parts, or do you want people to tune in for that? I'd love to share some of it. Okay. We still have a few that are, you know, a bit secret because we're still filming, and what we love to do is if people tune in on social media, we do a live uh, Facebook and Instagram to announce where I am in this next uh, DNA journey. But where we've been so far, I go back to Italy, so I chose Puglia, which is the heel of the boot, which has a big uh, Muslim influence, Greek influence, Turkish influence, right in the heel of the boot, and it's just beautiful. So we do La Pizziga, which is this like rigorous dance that used to be used to heal women of depression, but it was called the, the venom of the spider, right? So it's this beautiful, beautiful old tradition. Fascinating. I head to the Caucasus, so I'm in the country of Georgia, which was just unbelievable, absolutely beautiful. And then we head more west to Spain. I learned flamenco, and it's been a really emotional journey for me. And today I'm, I'm wearing an inspired dress by Romania, because we headed to Romania, and I got to dance with some uh, a family of gypsies in Klejani, Romania, which I'm going to be crying a lot in this new season, just warning everybody out there. Lots of tears, lots of tears. Why? Well, I felt so closely connected with these people on a different level. You know, when I connect with people every day, even when I'm here in New York, our last season was here throughout the city of New York, and that was so special because I got to connect with our neighbors, you know, people who are New Yorkers, people we love. But this was a different level. It was somewhere in my past that I don't know specifically, somewhere in there, someone that where I come from is from here. Right. Or from this land or yeah. from these people. And it just was overwhelming. It felt like this, I don't know if you are familiar with like blood memory, this whole idea of 
feeling connected to a place without knowing why. Well, I haven't experienced, the, the, like, the, I guess identifying that, mm -hmm. but I, I've experienced it a lot. Yeah. Um, because I, I can relate to what you're saying. Yeah. Um, I mean, I haven't traveled to, because I haven't done my yeah, DNS, yeah. my ancestry, or uh, how, what, what, what did you use as your method to establish your DNA background? Sure. I actually took four different tests, because I was like, I want to see if they're all the same, if they're accurate. And they all had a general region, the same region. They were just slightly different percentages. But one test said I was 4% Ashkenazi Jew. Another test said I was more North African. You know, another one said I was only 11% Italian, but 67% Greek. It was really interesting to see the, the range in, in changes for each one. But it was generally like Mediterranean, North African, Middle Eastern, Caucasus, the Balkans. Um, and that made sense. Geographically, geographically, where my parents are from in southern Italy, it was invaded and overcome by a totally different um, people over the, uh, the history of, of humankind. But also, it was a port city, so just people are coming in left and right. No, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing, right, when you start digging into your background, yeah. into the history, and yeah. then you start realizing that in some form, we're all fused together yes. anyway. We're yes. all mutts yes. at some point. Yes. Even if we're originally from, we're all mixed. Right. Because my family came back from this one little town, both my parents from this one little town called Minturno, for generations. So even if I kept going further back, further back, it was the same town. So I thought, man, I love this idea of reconnecting with my roots because my very first episode was me going back to Minturno. You meet my nonna Pina, who I love dearly. She still cooks and does everything. And she's, God bless her, she's 89 now? She's going to be 89? Wow. She looks like Blessings. 60. Amazing. And she, um, you connect with my family. And people really connected with that episode. And I thought, I need to do that again, but I only know I'm Italian. How can I go deeper? I love it. And then, which leads me to the next question, yeah. which is this new trend of DNA travel. Yeah. Right, and then you're going to be speaking at the New York Times show at the Jacob Javits Center. Yeah. How exciting is that? And you better be there with I'm me, girl. Going, I'm okay, going. Good. I'm going to be right by your side. Good, good. Yeah. So DNA travel has become the top travel trend for 2019, listed by Lonely Planet, NBC News, American Way magazine. I mean, it is a hot travel trend. So we were onto something when we started this over a year and a half ago. This whole journey. Um, but I'll be speaking tomorrow at 4 p.m. at the Jacob Javits Center on heritage travel. So I'll be with three other panelists, and we're each giving our own take on giving inspiration for how you can start your own DNA travel journey or ancestry journey. I wasn't specifically looking for relatives in each of these places, but there are people who are going to sp be speaking on the panel with me. Uh, one, his name is Anthony Fazzano, and he wrote a book. He did it all himself, and he went to his ancestral village back in southern Italy and met with all of these relatives that he didn't even know about. And then there's going to be a wonderful woman named Dr. Gina Page who started AfricanAncestry.com. They're the only um, DNA product that actually traces you back to which tribe you belong to, which is pretty incredible. And then there's a woman named Lisa Vogle who um, she does Travel Your Tree, which is uh, tours based on your ancestry. So it's become a very hot topic. We'd love for everybody to come to the panel Q&A. You can meet me. You're going to be there. We're going to be dancing. And it's a great way to be inspired for this way of feeling more connected to a place. Even if you're going there on vacation, you don't necessarily have to find relatives to find. But you do feel this extra connection to a place that might be really foreign to you. So. It's really, really fun. It really is. And yeah. you know what? It sounds really exciting. And I thank you for coming here and sharing it with thank our viewers. Thank you for having me. Because at the end of the day, what we're expressing to everyone is we are all connected. Yes. And that's the beauty of New York. Yes. Is that we can actually experience it together. Yes. In one place, I get the Jacob Javits Center. You get a taste of it. And maybe it'll inspire you to, to just go a little further back yeah. and, and reach. And the New York Times Travel Show is my one of my favorite weekends of the year in New York because it is all about travel. So... Aside from ancestry roots, you can go there and you're like, I want to go to the Bahamas. Let me go to that booth and find out more. I want to go to Antarctica or I want to go to Montana. Everybody is there and you get so inspired to take a trip. They have giveaways. They have stages with dancers. I mean, food demonstrations. It's kind of the mecca of all travel. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely the place to go to <laughs> 
Well, no, because everybody tends to just go for whatever's on television right, and right. is uh, promoted versus going and, and investigating yourself. Exactly. And learning more. Exactly. And, and also po possibly traveling purposefully. Yes. Right, which is what you yes. did. Yes. All right, Michaela, thank you so much thank for you. coming on air and thank sharing you. all of this lovely, exciting new adventures. Thank you. And you guys, once again, Michaela will be speaking tomorrow as part of a travel seminar at 4 p.m. And that's at the New York Times Travel Show. That's taking place Saturday, January 26th and Sunday, January 27th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at the Jacob Javits Center. And for more information on Bare Feet with Michaela Malazzi, please be sure to visit TravelBareFeet.com.